Hi, I'm Jim Fuller. I'm the store manager at Fairfield Thrifty Foods and I've worked for the company for 27 years. Yeah, the home delivery service is an amazing uh, program and send out part of it is, is even more amazing. Basically what it is, is people who are not able to get to the stores, we have volunteers who phone to get their orders. They shop their orders, they phone back if there's any changes to be made or substitutions, and then we send it out and we deliver it directly to their door. And it's an amazing service. It gives them the uh, ability to stay home and uh, live on their own. I'm legally blind, and so I don't see detail very well. Like, I can get myself to thrifties, but then once I'm in there, I can't read any of the packages or the price signs or any of that sort of thing. So, so that's why I called them up, and it's really been a great service. Well at the store level we have volunteers who take the phone calls and they phone the customers and they ask what they want. They have, a, they have a long list where they write out everything that the customer wants, produce, meat, seafood, grocery. They take that order. The next day a volunteer from Sendell shops the order. So they go up and down the aisles and they look for everything. They may have to phone the customer back once in a while and say, hey we're not sure if we can find you this or what did you mean by this and they change it up and get them the right thing and store staff ring it through the till, make sure it gets rung off, and then we put it in the cooler, and we phone for the drivers, they come pick it up, and we deliver it right to the door of the customers. I'm Ray Mignon, I work for Thrifty Foods Home Delivery Service for Sundial. I've dealt with these customers for 10 years, and I know the customers inside and out, and I was one of the first guys when I started doing it to start to take the, the groceries into the, into the counter for them because a lot of the times we didn't, we drop them off the door. I said, that's not good enough for these elderly people that can't lift them. So I would take them in and take them into the, and put them on the counter for the customers. And that's what they want. We deal with them in a proper manner. I began by being a shopper. And then uh, eventually I've become a phoner and I work from 8.30 to finishing, which is somewhere around 12.30. The best part of my job is the contact a week has passed, hearing what's happened and catching up with them and uh, just generally hearing what they're ordering because that's a big indication. How are they doing? Well, I mean, I don't know really what I would do without them. I would, I don't know, I'd either have to rope in a friend every week, which can be pretty demanding can be hard on the friendships. 25 years ago, uh, my uh, daughter told me there was a new program starting at Thrifties and uh, suggested that, that I try it. It started in January of 1987, and there were only about 30 people at that time, and we used to be in a back room in the store on uh, uh, Fairfield, this one and uh, we would uh, take an order and then shop it ourselves. Prue and Alex Campbell got together on this program and uh, they wanted to start the 1st of January in 1987 and uh, that's how it began. Be ready with order sheets and carbon paper as the phone usually rings the minute you plug it in. We are having our first anniversary on Thursday the 14th of January. Wow! Have we learned a lot in our first year. At the beginning, I sort of envisioned 30 volunteers and a few orders. Now we have about 55 volunteers and we average 100 orders per week. Prue was a particularly special lady and she really cared about people and uh, she just spent the rest of her life helping people. Prue was wonderful. If we had a problem, we'd say, Prue, we think you need to make a visit. I'll be there. But she just had uh, her thumb on so many things for seniors. And there are so many seniors in this city that uh, can't get out of their apartments. And, uh, and uh, so this is how they do it. Well, I wanted to volunteer for Sendow because of the, the service it provides to people in the community. It helps people stay in their homes longer, and it helps people when they have a temporary setback in their lives. I wanted to do some kind of volunteering and I chose that because I like people and I relate to them and uh, this is how I did it for 25 years. Well, it just gives you a good feeling of helping people that need to help and it just makes you feel that uh, you're, you're a part of the community. 
Thrifty Foods is so fortunate to have the Send Out program, and without the volunteers, it could not run. We are so fortunate to have so many good people volunteering for this cause, and we really appreciate it.